A grisly crime caught on camera. The man police dubbed the shopping cart killer is accused in at least five murders, charged with two of them. Anthony Robinson is behind bars awaiting trial for the murder of two Virginia women, and he says they died after overdosing. But authorities have a much different story and say they have evidence to prove otherwise. News Nation correspondent Paul Gerke has the very latest on the case tonight. The man police say is the shopping cart killer was in court this week, and so was evidence the public hasn't seen yet. Anthony Robinson is accused of killing 54-year-old Aline Redman and 39-year-old Tanita Larice Smith last fall. Police rolled surveillance footage in court yesterday during a preliminary hearing, which showed Redman going into Robinson's hotel room, but she never came out alive. Instead, Robinson is seen pushing a shopping cart with what police say was her lifeless body and white bed sheets. Text messages also put Redmond at the hotel. The Commonwealth is required to put evidence to show the judge that they have probable cause to believe that these offenses happened and that the defendant is the one who committed them. It is not a trial beyond a reasonable doubt. It is um, a probable cause hearing. While police searched for Redmond, they were working a missing persons case a month later for Smith. Her phone also showed her last location at the same hotel, and police say they have video of Smith entering Robinson's room, but never again coming out alive. Both bodies were later found dumped behind the hotel. When Robinson was arrested, he said both women died after overdosing, and he didn't know what to do with them. Police say it was more calculated than that. Last December, police felt the urgency to find out if Robinson had killed others. I don't want to give this guy a cape, but that's who he is. He's a killer. He's a serial killer. Uh, we know who he is. Thank God he's behind bars right now. But that still doesn't take away from the urgency that exists to identify any other victims that might be out here. Robinson is now being investigated in three other slayings in Fairfax County, Virginia and Washington, D.C. So far, he has not been charged in those cases. The prosecutors, I believe, in Fairfax had indicated that they thought the Harrisonburg cases were the strongest and they were just going to hold off to see what happens with those cases first. Paul Gerke, News Nation. Robinson did not speak, but his attorney told the court there was no evidence that these deaths were cold blooded, premeditated murder. We'll stay on the case. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.